Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video we're going to update the BIOS version of a gigabyte motherboard. If this is the first time you're doing something like that, I advise you to watch, uh, the, uh, to watch the video about me interrupting the BIOS update process for a, for a motherboard that you can find in the top right of this video. There are other videos for different motherboards as well where I do the update and it, it's a playlist so you can check it out. I, highly recommend you to watch this video where I <laughs> interrupt the, uh, the update process. So going back to the video, we open a CMD, we type the command system info, and this command gives us a lot of information about your computer, like this one is Windows 10, it's a gigabyte, the specific model is H110N, and the most important part perhaps is that the BIOS version is F21 that came out in 2017. So now we are going to find we are going to see if we find a better version, a more, uh, a more current version. So I open any web browser and I go to gigabyte.com. And here we are going to find if there is an available version. So I'm going to close this and I have to go to service and support. Okay, I made a mistake. Service and support. And we have to type the model. So it is H100N or something happened. I have to do it again. And it's going to kind of find a match. There you go. So let's see what it shows. So we we'll wait a few seconds, and here you can see the downloads, the CPU support, the manual, and all that for this model. You can see the drivers there for, for Windows, and if you scroll down, you can see BIOS. So you click on it, it's going to show you all the BIOS for this motherboard model. So you, you, we can find the current one that we have, F21, that came out in 2017, and if we go to the top, we find F24, which is the latest. So you can download it from these different areas, Asia, China, America, and Europe. Okay, so you just click on it and you're going to download it. So I already have it downloaded, it's not very large anyway. So I'm going to close this because I don't need it anymore. And it's a zip file. Then you unzip it, just double click on it and you are going to have this folder. So when, once you have uh, the, the content and uh, unzip it, you have these three files. And the two first, in this case, they don't work for some reason. And the third one is the actual update the document, uh, the file that's going to update your computer. So for this end, I'm going to use, but I cannot run it, as you can see. It, I, I, I just cannot do anything with it. So for this end, I'm going to use a USB. I have this USB connected to my computer. It is 8 gigabytes. Uh, you don't need 8 gigabytes. It can be way less than that. I'm just showing you the one I have. And one thing to keep in mind is that uh, this USB has to be formatted to FAT32. If you have it in NTFS, in this case, as you can see here, uh, file system FAT32. If you have it in uh, formatted to NTFS, it's not going to work because NTFS belongs to Microsoft and so far it only works on Windows. So since we're going to be out of Windows, it's not, it's not going to be recognized by the, by, by the motherboard. So keep that in mind. If you have it in FAT32, I mean in NTFS, you have to format it to FAT32. And I'm, going to, I'm not going to do that because it's already formatted to FAT32. So I'm just going to, gr to grab this file and copy it to the, to the USB. You can, you can copy all of them and the USB does, doesn't need to be empty. It can have other things as well. It just needs to be FAT32. So I just copy, I just copy it, and, then I'm, and now I'm going to restart the computer and do the uh, update the, the the BIOS version from the motherboard itself. Now I'm going to open a CMD. I'm going to type the command shut down, and I'm going to since I cannot record that part on the computer itself, I'm going to use my cell phone. So restart time zero zero. So I'm going to press enter. Well, I'm going to my cell phone first. So you can see it, I'm going to press enter and the computer is restarting. The video in some parts is sped up so you don't have to wait for all the process, for all the actual time. So here I'm going to start clicking Dell or even before that. So I have access to the BIOS menu. You can see here, there are many things uh, that we can configure here. One thing I forgot to remember, um, it's very important that you, that your computer is connected. In this case, this is a desktop computer, so it doesn't have a battery. It's connected to the reliable power supply because if there is an, an outage of uh, electricity 
if, uh, if, if it goes down, your computer might, might become unusable. That's what happens when a BIOS update is not successful. And that's what I have in that video I mentioned at the beginning of this, of this process. So if let's go back to the video. If we look down and press Alt, we have this other menu. Other menu. We're going to go to QFlash. Of course, the USB is connected, and we're going to choose Update BIOS. So we just click on it, and you see here System Volume Information, and we are going to click on the arrow. So we have three options. Here we are going to the USB, and the two others are the hard drive itself, where Windows is stored. So I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to select C, and I can see the file that we copied a few seconds ago. If I click the other, it's not going to show me anything because it doesn't have any file that the motherboard recognizes. Now I have noticed in previous updates that sometimes the USB that I use is not recognized by the motherboard itself. It might be recognized by Windows, but it's not recognized by the motherboard itself. So if that's the case, if that happens to you, try using another USB brand. If you were using, I don't know, just an example, a scan disk, try to use a Kingston, for example. It's just an example. So uh, once you have it, you just click on the on the file, the only one that is going to be recognized, and the process starts. So again, this process, uh, this part is going to be accelerated, so you don't have to wait. This process took around two and a half minutes, more or less. So it's kind of quick. Uh, you don't have to be here a uh, long period of time. So you just have to wait for this to, to finish. So one more thing we're going to check in a few seconds is that just a reminder, the model name is H110N and the BIOS version, the current BIOS version is F21. Now it's almost done and it's finished. The computer is going to restart in a few seconds. Now this is the time where I, where I sweat a little. Um, and if you see the screen, you know something went, uh, went the right way. So I'm not going to press the L anymore. Uh, I can show you from the BIOS itself, but I'd rather do it from Windows. So I'm going to log into Windows. I'm going to open a CMD command prompt one more time, and I'm going to type the same command, which is system info. So you can see here is the same computer, Windows 10 Pro, Gigabyte Technology Corporation. The model is the same H110N. And the important part, BIOS version. And this time is F24 that came out in 2018. Before we last F21, now we have the latest. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you for this video, guys. I hope you uh, you found value in this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave a like. If this is the first time for you in this channel, you came here by accident or because you, you watched the thumbnail, or this is what this is something you, you are interested in uh, consider checking out what else in the channel it, it, this is an IT channel you can see many many things IT related so and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video